Hi folks, Steve here at Ross Feathers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a brand new floor plan for 2023 in the Stratus lineup. So Venture RV Stratus model 221 VRK, rear kitchen. Uh, beautiful little floor plan, I really like it. Um, they left the bedroom opened up to the living space so the trailer looks much much uh, bigger than it actually is. In fact, it's 27 foot, that's including the tongue, so about 23 foot and some change box length uh, a slide not too deep the weight very very interesting 5360 pounds uh the stratus line something that venture started about four or five years ago um has really become a very nice product line we're super excited to have them there's tons of very interesting features uh it's priced right it looks great it's built right so uh Let's just go around, I'll show you some of those features. At the front, electric tongue jacks. You got your propane tanks right here behind. Battery disconnect. This is where your battery box and battery will come. There's a nice stone guard. Brand new windows a couple years ago. Really like that, customers really like that. On the side here, very large access to your storage. So you could put some bins in there. Also, slam latch angle and magnetic holder. Uh, we have our docking station so we have an outside shower slash um garden hose um so there we go hot and cold cable satellite ready your city water uh, connection and this little handle will help you fill your freshwater tank right above we have our black tank flush our slide out always rack and pinion system so to my knowledge the best there is in the industry uh, they really pay attention to so double wiper seals, the little bob seals in the truck, it's not coming out. We have four Caesar jack on that trailer. The underbelly is also enclosed and heated. Uh, one thing they do is they put gutters and spout extension, including the rear wall, and they even put a gutter over top of the slide out. It's kind of unusual. Towards the back. Detachable power cord. This is where our connection is and our handles are right here underneath Water heater runs on gas and electrical Our bumper has been recessed. Venture started doing that a couple years ago. It looks great Save on link All exterior lights marker lights including the tail lights are LED. We got a roof ladder to get to the roof We are ready for a backup camera There's a trailer hitch two inch uh, it can handle 250 pounds, so perfect for your bike rack. Uh, something unusual, we can see the nice quality valves on your low uh, drain, on your low point drain, so hot and cold. And the same type of valve is on your freshwater tank. On this side, cable hookup and a power outlet if you choose to bring a little TV. We have Goodyear tires on aluminum wheels. Outside speakers, a very nice size awning with LED light, a large foldable entry handle, bottle opener doggy shoulders. We have the new steps, everybody really like that. Our screen room, got a little elastic here, so it's, it is self-closing. And the new this year, they call it screen defender from Lippert. It just prevents your dog from going right through the screen. Your window in the uh, door, the entrance door, is also ready to receive a little shade that you can purchase in our parts department. On this side, same size access to your storage, or your patchwork storage. There is a motion detector light and there is a little switch. There's four uh, under the trailer blue LED lights to light up the ground. On the inside, I guess we'll start at the front. True, so 60 by 80, just like at home, queen size bed. Uh, we talked about that front window and uh, the blind. Uh, shirt closet, very nicely done, real bar. And they cut the back of it to leave that open, give you an extra shelf with a power outlets and a 12 volt USB outlets. Uh, the bed base is actually plywood made, so is our floor. Gas struts to have access to the storage. As you notice, 
the interior of the trailer storage under the bed is closed from the one for the pass-through storage so you can leave some linens and pillows it's not going to get dirty with your lawn chair and barbecue all of the windows have pleated shades moving forward we have a nice uh theater seating with heat and massage cup holder and a power outlets and more usb outlets it's a nice touch for sure. Right in front of it is a very large U-shaped dinette. It's 88 inch wide by 42 inch wide. Or 40, 88 inch long by 42 wide. So definitely an extra sleeping arrangement for a very tall adult. <laughs> there is storage underneath. And on one side we have a nice bin. We have our EM FM CD DVD Bluetooth USB auxiliary right there in the cabinet and the TV located in between or right above the window. A little bit of storage on the other side. There's a power outlet right there. Our AC is ducted with closable vents. Our furnace is also ducted through the floor. Going into the kitchen, we have a pantry with adjustable shelf. We have an 8 cubic foot gas electric traditional RV fridge, not 12 volts, it runs on gas, it's a beautiful fridge. We have a microwave on the top, range hood vented outside folks, 3 burner stove, bifold glass door, cast iron grill, a little oven, everything lights up, the button as well as the oven. Pots and pan drawer right below, right at the right spot. A cutting board with the etched logo of the company. Actually fits on the sink. We have three drawers. One for your sponge or spices, you choose. Plywood made, ball bearing hardware. Glides very nicely. A place to charge your phone and your tablet. A power outlet and a USB outlet and a lot of above cabinets. Now folks, we all camp here, so we know that whatever is up here for storage is more than plenty. Two power outlets and two windows that open in the kitchen. Perfect spot for the coffee machine right there in the back. It's not gonna disturb you from doing the dishes. Uh, Undermounted, farmer style, stainless steel sink. Nice little tap, uh, restaurant style. You got drying rack as well, come with you. Or you can use that cutting board if you choose. A little bit of storage below, but they always leave that open for uh, a garbage can. And a little bit more storage right here as well. Maybe the extra pots or the extra pans. Nice little logo of the company on the wall. They did a pretty good job. Right here, charge controller. There is a 100 watt solar panel on the roof. This is a 30 amp charge controller. Right below is a thermostat for both AC and heat so you get to choose what you want. And the bathroom in the corner right here, 36 by 30 shower. There's a shower liner, there's a skylight and a designer curtain. Nice little vanity with a fairly large stainless steel sink, nice little tap and a medicine cabinet. Our toilet is porcelain, foot flush and it didn't add a cabinet here, I would say this is probably the best spot to put a hamper. Couple of hooks on the wall for your towels. There is a power fan. There is a motion detector LED night light. There's a light switch on the wall and a nice little device called the Level Mate Pro that helps you uh, level your trailer uh, by downloading an app on your phone. They will talk to each other to let you know when you're side to side level and front to back level. So folks, it's a newer floor plan. I like the way this, this space feels. It's huge, like I'm, I'm in the kitchen, I'm looking at the other end and there's no way you can tell this is 23 foot a box. It looks so much more larger and it's stowable at 53 and some change. It, uh, it's a trailer that's gonna wanna go places. So if you have any questions folks, please give us a call. Better yet, stop by. I'll be happy to open it up for you. Folks, I think we're done it. Thanks for watching.